In this video, we will cover VisSim compound blocks, model levels, navigation, compound block pins, dialog constants, and dialog windows. VisSim compound blocks are used to encapsulate models or parts of models into user-defined blocks. Compound blocks can contain any number of VisSim blocks. You can create compound blocks using either a top-down or bottom-up approach. Let's apply the top-down approach to create a compound block that has two inputs and one output. From the Blocks Annotation menu, select and place a label on the screen. Right button click on the label and enter Top-Down Method. Then click OK. Next, hold down the left button and drag the mouse to select the label. Right button and select Create Compound from the drop-down menu. We'll name our compound block Y equals F of U1, U2. Pins are used to transmit data into and out of the compound block. Use the Add Connector icon on the VisSim menu bar to add two input pins and one output pin. This command is also available under the Edit menu. Oops, I added one too many outputs. Use the Remove Connector icon to remove it. This command is also available under the Edit menu. Pins are numbered from top down, beginning with pin 1 at the top. Let's add names to the pins. Left button, double click on input pin 1, and in the connector field, enter U1, then click OK. Following the same procedure, add names to input pin 2 and output pin 1. Now our compound block has names for its inputs, outputs, and functional relationship. Compound blocks introduce the notion of levels in a VisSim model. All models have a top level, and compound blocks define lower levels. There are two ways to navigate into a compound block. Right button click on the compound block moves one level down in the model and reveals the compound block contents. Right button click on any white background within the compound block moves up one level. The second method of navigation is to use the menu and diagram browser tree located on the left side of the screen. Your model will be appended to the bottom of this menu. Left button click to expose all model levels and then left button double click on each level to navigate there. To access the compound block properties, enter control right button on the compound block. A number of configuration options are available. You can password protect the block contents. You can display an image on the compound block. You can present internal parameter settings using dialog constants to make the compound block more user-friendly. You can force the compound block to execute at conditions you define in the model using the enabled execution option, or you can have the compound block execute at its own local time step. Let's create an equation in the compound block that integrates the difference between the two input signals, then passes the integral through a gain and an offset to the output. From the Blocks Arithmetic menu, select and place a summing junction block and connect it to U1 and U2. Control right button to change the U2 sign to negative. From the Blocks Integration menu, select and place an integrator block and connect it to the summing junction. From the Blocks Arithmetic menu, select and place a gain block and connect it to the integration block. Right click on the gain and set the value to 3, then click OK. Using Control Shift Left Button, copy the summing junction block. Control Right Button to change the second input to a positive sign. From the Block Signal Producer menu, select and place a constant block. Right button click and set the value to 1. Connect the summing junction inputs to the gain and constant blocks and the output pin to the compound block output pin. Let's use dialog constant blocks to display the gain and offset values in a dialog window that appears when you right mouse click on the compound block. Control Shift left button to make a copy of the compound block. Navigate inside and from the blocks signal producer menu select and place a dialog constant block. From the blocks arithmetic menu select and place a multiply block. Delete the gain block and replace it with the dialog constant and multiply block combination. Right mouse on the dialog constant block 
enter integrator gain for the name, double for the type, and three for the value. Click OK. Control Shift left button to copy the dialog constant block. Right mouse and enter, offset for the name, double for the type, and one for the value. Click OK. Replace the constant block with this dialog constant block. Navigate up one level. Control right mouse click on the compound block and select Create Dialog from Contain Dialog Constants. Click OK. Right click on the compound block to view the display window settings. Default values are displayed for the gain and offset. These values can be redefined by the user and saved with the model. When using this dialog window feature, you can no longer enter a compound block using right mouse click. Instead, you use either left mouse double click or the tree menu. The dialog constant block supports five data types, double, boolean, integer list, string, and label. We've looked at the double type. Let's look at the boolean and integer list types. Control shift left button click to make a copy of the compound block. Navigate inside, right click on the gain dialog constant block, set type equal integer list, set values equal 1, 2, minus 4, click OK. Right click on the offset dialog constant block, set type equal boolean, click OK. Right click on the background to move up one level, then right button on the compound block to see the dialog window. The Boolean type is presented as a checkbox. The integer list is presented as a drop-down menu. The vertical order of the elements in the dialog window is controlled by the vertical placement of the dialog constant blocks. Let's move the Boolean check to the bottom of the dialog example compound block. Enter the compound block. Slide the offset dialog constant below the gain dialog constant. Right-click on the background and move up one level right button on the compound block to see the dialog window. The Boolean checkbox is now below the game. The Create Buttons for Contained Compound Dialogs compound block option is a feature that provides a single window in the top level compound block of a two level compound block model to access all dialog constants. The dialog window consists of buttons with the names set to each of the second level compound block names. Right-clicking on a button brings up the dialog constants for that individual second-level compound block. You create the button dialog window by checking both Create Dialog from Contain Dialog Constants and Create Buttons for Contain Compound Dialogs for the top-level compound block. And then at the second level of the model for each compound block, Check Create Dialog from Contain Dialog Constants. 